Hello everyone. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Monday. Today I'm coming at you with our weekly Minx Monday Q&A. And before we get started, let me share the bag that I'm currently rocking. And that is the Chanel Medium Large with the black caviar leather and the silver hardware. All right, so let's get started with the very first question, shall we? From Alicia Hernandez. <clears throat> Have you heard if the new Rose Ballerine will be an option in the Damien Ben Neverfull MM? A YouTuber said she, she heard it was going to be in August. Uh, I am happy to say, yes, uh, Rose Ballerine will be an option in the Damien Ben print. Um, and I had also heard it was going to be in August. However, when I spoke to my sales associate, they said that they no longer have an exact date, a release date for it. Uh, so I, who knows? They might end up pushing it a little bit further. They might bring it a little bit closer. Who knows? Uh, but they are are taking names so call your sales associates and let them know that you are interested in the bag uh, but yes it is in the system so it is definitely going to happen how exciting is that <laughs> uh, okay uh, Andrew 23 <clears throat> I'm thinking of buying the multiple wallet in graffiti what do you think of this wallet do you think the glazing will wear heavily quickly as you open or close the wallet. Uh, the Louis Vuitton multiple wallet, I believe it retails for $4.90 here in the States. Uh, and that is actually my favorite men's wallet. Uh, it is the wallet that I tried to buy my husband a million times and he just would, he wouldn't take it. Uh, but I really like it. I think it's very simple. I think it has quite a bit of, uh, you know, credit card slots and whatnot. Uh, you know, you always have to think, you, have, you always have to put that in the back of your mind that any tri-fold or bi-fold wallet um, might end up wearing. So you kind of have to think about that. Um, do I think it'll wear quickly? I have no idea, to be honest. Um, it might, uh, especially, I mean, I know the way my husband is with his wallets, but then again, they're not luxury goods. So I have, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you with certainty that it will wear quicker or not. Uh, so if any of you guys out there, uh, if any of your hubbies have them, if you guys have them, let us know in the comment section down below if you own the multiple wallet and if it wears, um, you know, how it wears and if you like the wallet or not, so we can help Andrew 23 with his decision. But no, I do. I really like the wallet. I think it's simple. Uh, you know, one of the things I like about it the most is the fact that it doesn't have that extra flap for like a driver's license. You know what I mean? I don't like those kind of wallets. I know my husband absolutely, absolutely does, but they kind of bug me. I just like the fact that you can open the wallet. It has the nice little folds in it. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's really nice. And I think it has a really great price point for everything that you can put inside of the wallet. So I say go for it. But again, let us know if, uh, you know, how, how men's wallets wear, or if you guys have any other, uh, suggestions. Uh, okay. Angelica Odin. Uh, I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, I want to pick up my first item from Chanel, a small card holder or a small wallet. Uh, whenever it comes to trying out other brands, or if you're, <clears throat> if you're a beginner for any other fashion house, I always say start off small. Uh, for example, you can definitely go with the regular card holder. I absolutely love this. It has a total of three credit card slots, uh, one in the front, one on the out, or two on the outside, one in the front, two in the back, and then this uh, little guy in the middle. Or you can go with this one. Uh, and this one is just a snap button closure and just an open little compartment there and another little uh, pocket here. So I think both of these would be great before you go into maybe a mid-size wallet because they have larger wallets, travel wallets. There's just so many different options that you can go for. Um, but personally, I would go for one of these uh, because let's say you try it out in caviar leather and maybe you don't like the way caviar leather wears. You can try it out in lambskin or, you know, you can really get a feel for the brand. And, um, you know, that's that's just something I would definitely recommend. But these two are definitely great. I think uh, it's always been a battle for me. I say sometimes I like this one and sometimes I like this one more. But I think recently I prefer this one. It's just a little bit smaller. I feel it holds, I don't know, I think I, I like its structure a little bit better. The fact that you have, you know, you can put your most important cards on the outside. But then again, if you want security, uh, you can always go for this one. So maybe your driver's license or your credit cards go in here, some cash goes in there. So security wise, I would go for this one. Uh, simplicity wise and being able to go a little bit more compact, I would go with that one. But Definitely try out the smallest uh, leather goods before uh, you you go into uh, purchasing a handbag. At least that's how I feel anyways. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Extina Albaza. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, do you prefer the Chanel purse made 
made by France or Italy? Because some people think that the one made in France is better. Is that true? Or are they just the same? Can you please do a comparison on the Chanel six key and the Louis Vuitton six key too? Um, when it comes to Chanel bags, I have my medium large is actually made in France and my jumbo is made in Italy. And I think they are both fantastic. I would have to say that it seems that, no, I think they're, I think they're fine. I have no preference. Um, yeah, and some of my smaller leather goods are made in Spain, which is kind of funny. Uh, but no, I have no preference whatsoever. I think they both wear the same. And um, whenever I spoke to my sales associate about, you know, getting a certain bag, maybe in, in from Italy or from France, they always said that they go with um, the, the country that has the best leather that they can offer at the time for that said bag. So the medium large or the jumbo or whatever it is. Uh, so I don't think it matters at all. Um, I just... As long as the, the quilts look good and the and the structure and everything stays good, then I'm okay with it. <laughs> uh, and as far as the Louis Vuitton six key holder and the Chanel six key, uh, which if you guys don't know, I was recently gifted by a very, very, very good friend of mine. Um, I will be doing a comparison. I actually switched into this uh, the Chanel six key this past week and I will, I will definitely be doing a comparison video, seeing which one's better. I just want to be able to use the Chanel six key a lot more. I want to, I want to see, you know, if it would stand the test of time, kind of like the Louis Vuitton one did for me, you know, for all those years. So it will, I definitely will have that video, uh, in the future. I just don't know exactly when. <clears throat> Uh, okay. Uh, Nicole Delaney. I have a question for you. I have tried desperately to find a Chanel that is suitable for crossbody since I am five foot seven and a little on the squishy side. I have tried the wallet on chain and the strap length was okay, but it's too small for me to carry anything in it. Someone had suggested a mini and I love the rectangular, but she said that the 15 series or the four hole ones was better. Do you have one? Do you have any suggestions? Uh, okay. So I agree. I think that the, uh, that the rectangular mini with the four holes or the four Four grommets is a lot better because you can manipulate the the way that you wear uh, the way that you wear the bag a little bit better, kind of like you know the the classic flaps. You can either wear it um, you know as a little mini handbag. You can just stretch this out or just pull out the entire chain and wear it just uh, one long strap. So I prefer that as well. Um, what else? There are a few bags that just came out for uh, the Rome collection. Uh, there is, I forget the name of it. I literally just saw it at the boutique a few days ago. Um, if I have a picture of it, I will insert it now. Uh, and I will show you guys. It is a, it has a, um, oh, how can I describe it? It kind of reminds me of a, not a Kelly bag from Hermes, but it, it just kind of looks like a little briefcase. It's very small but it's very deceiving because it has a long uh, leather crossbody strap. It has a very short chain up here and it has quite a bit of space. It has, um, I, I think I have a picture of the interior. I don't have a picture of the outside. I don't know why, but if I do, I will find it and I will insert it somewhere in this video. Uh, but it has a lot of space in it and I believe it retails for $3,000 here in the States, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember the name, as I said before, uh, but they have a lot of new bags, a lot of seasonal bags that have a lot of crossbody options. So I would just talk to your sales associate and see which one suits your lifestyle the best. Definitely. Uh, okay, Heather Wellborn. <clears throat> Can you please tell me the strap drop length on the Neverfull bag? Is it the same length for all three sizes? I am a curvy girl, so I find it difficult to find a strap drop length on totes longer than nine inches. Any brand would be helpful. Uh, if the, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, they are all pretty much different. The PM, the MM, and the GM. Uh, I believe that the PM is seven inches in uh, for the strap drop. The MM is seven and a half, and the GM is eight inches for the strap drop. Um, um, and I will have to say that I think that the medium, the MM is probably the best size. It's very comfortable. And if you go with the Demi Azor or the monogram print, that leather will give you a little bit more give because it's going to be kind of like a leather belt. You know how it kind of stretches out a little bit. So you might gain maybe another half inch or a quarter inch, uh, on the length, uh, maybe not too, too much, but, um, it will give you a little bit more give. The Demi Ben is a little bit harder because obviously it is the treated leather. 
but um, I personally think that the MM size or the GM are both uh, fantastic for not having to worry about, you know, like let's say you're wearing a cardigan or a jacket or something like that and you want to put the bag on, on your shoulder, it still gives you enough uh, of a give, you know what I mean? So I would definitely go for the MM or the GM uh, if that's what you are interested in, definitely. Or the Goyard St. Uh, St. Louis, um, you can try that as well, definitely. Okay, uh, April Ermac, I'm thinking of getting the Louis Vuitton Retiro. However, I love the Speedy Bandolier 30. Help, I would love to hear your opinion. Uh, okay, so recently I had the chance to interact with the Retiro, and I really like the bag. It's a beautiful bag. I thought it would lose its structure a little bit more, but it just it has a very nice, you know, silhouette to it. However, I feel that the Speedy B uh, 30 has a little bit more versatility because the bandolier speedy you can carry uh, as a handbag in the crook of your arm, as a shoulder bag cross body, and the retiro you can only you can't carry it cross body. So if that's important, then I would go for the bandolier. Uh, the uh, the retiro does come with an extra uh, shoulder strap, removable shoulder strap, but again you can't wear that cross body. Uh, but it is a very pretty bag. It's a little pricey, uh, you know, for for canvas, especially you know you guys you guys know how I feel about the the two thousand uh, dollar mark on canvas bags. Uh, but uh, as far as versatility goes, I think that the Speedy Bandolier has a little bit more because of the many more ways that you can, uh, because of the ways that you can uh, wear it. Uh, but the Retiro is a very, very pretty bag. I'm not going to lie. Uh, there's just something about it, especially in the noir. It, there's just, I don't know, the, the microfiber on the inside and you have pockets, you have a little bit more that you can put inside there, um, you know, without it kind of just being just an open uh, compartment, kind of like the Bandolier uh, or the Speedy. But again, it's all a matter of personal preference, but for versatility purposes, I would go with the uh, Bandolier 30, uh, in my opinion. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, Victoria Bryant. So I have placed my name on the wait list for a Chanel jumbo. Ah! <laughs> so happy. Had to drive two hours away as I wanted to see the bag in person and try it on to make sure I love it. And I do. Jesus, I do. <laughs> but how do I decide gold hardware versus silver hardware? I am leaning more towards silver as I feel it is fresher and I can turn it up or dress it down. I placed my name on a wait list for both, and now I am torn. Opinions, can you also tell me what is Chanel's return policy? Uh, Chanel's return policy on handbags is 14 days, and it has to be unused with everything attached. Um, <clears throat> And obviously, uh, you can, you, it's not like you get credit back. It's your, your money back, or you could put that, you can exchange it or something like that, but it has to be within 14 days. Uh, okay. So that is the age old question. It, it, if it's the gold hardware or the silver hardware, <laughs> you know, because once you make your decision on the size that you want, then it's like, okay, that's a whole other, the, you know, a whole other battle with the hardware. Um, I do like the silver. I think it is a little bit more casual. Yes, you can definitely dress it up, but my preference, uh, even though I do love this bag and I wear this bag quite often, uh, the gold hardware just to me is a little, just a tad more, you know, elegant. I guess that's the word for it. A little bit more chic. Uh, you can definitely dress down gold hardware or dress it up regardless. Uh, but it, <laughs> it is so difficult. And, uh, I've had people ask me if I prefer using a bag with certain, uh, you know, jewelry that I'm wearing. Like if I'm wearing gold jewelry, do I pull out my jumbo or if it's silver, do I pull this one out? And honestly, when it comes to how I like to wear my bags, I mix and match my metals all the time. So I could be wearing silver from head to toe, but I will be wearing a gold handbag. That's just the way that I feel. It doesn't really bother me. And I think uh, what got me past that was the fact that Louis Vuitton, for the longest, you know, for the longest time, they had the gold hardware. So, you know, I like silver hardware. I mean, I like silver jewelry. I like gold jewelry and things like that. So once I started to have a bigger collection with the with Louis Vuitton, I kind of got past that whole making sure I wear gold and gold, you know what I mean? Maybe a little too matchy matchy. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that, but it's all a matter of personal preference. Sometimes I like to match it. Sometimes I don't. I just like that option. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> we're talking about the gold or silver hardware. That is very, very difficult to be honest, but you have to go with the bag that speaks to you the most. Uh, so, you know, uh, myself and Becky and Susie, we can all tell you go for gold hardware. But if when you see the silver hardware, that's what just kind of makes your heart 
just swoon and sing, then that's what you want to go for. You know what I mean? Um, but like I said, it's all a matter of personal preference and it is, it's very, um, first world, first world problems, right? I know someone said that to me, <laughs> uh, but it's just, it's, you want to make sure because, you know, you're spending that much money and you want to make sure that it is, is the bag that just, you cannot stop caring, you know? And, um, I like the silver, definitely very casual. Uh, but again, I feel that the gold hardware is just a tad more sophisticated, a tad classier. Um, and I think it will, you know, you can be wearing jeans and a t-shirt with gold hardware or with the silver. I'm not really helping, am I? <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> Put, I mean, if you get a chance to see them both side to side and go with the one that you're just like, that's the one, you know, when you see it, when you, when you hold it, then you'll know that that's the bag for you. Uh, okay. Luxtopia Tanya. I'm looking to purchase a pre-loved Chanel medium, large black classic flap. It was made in the nineties. I'd like to ask you about the quilting and the gold hardware. Number one, the bag I'm looking for looking at has relatively flattened quilting. Do, do, or did all Chanel bags start off puffy? Does the flattening quilting deter from the attractiveness and value? And two, was the hardware on the older Chanel bags plated in real gold? Are they still now? Uh, okay. So let me ask, answer your first question. Um, the bag has a flattened quilting. Uh, usually with Chanel bags, they tend to be, uh, they tend to start off a little bit puffier. Uh, if you're looking at a vintage lambskin, those will start to uh, be a little bit flatter, um, you know, as the years go by, especially because of, of the age of the item. Uh, but, you know, it's all, again, a matter of personal preference. I think that when they look at, the, when someone looks at the entire value of the bag, they have to look at the overall condition. So some people not might, might not be turned off by, um, you know, by flattened quilts. Some people prefer just the puffier pieces. I know I do when I first buy them I like them to be a little bit puffier um, but you know they have to look at everything they have to look at the interior they have to look at the chain they have to look at you know is the hardware chipping if, in order for them to to look at the value as a whole uh, but again it's all personal preference there are some beautiful beautiful vintage bags you know from the 80s from the 90s that have the flattened uh, quilting but it doesn't really take away from how beautiful the bag is and yes they did used to have gold plating on the hardware they do not anymore um, you know, and a lot of people that used to buy, or the a lot of people that have purchased Chanel for, for a long time, they appreciated the gold plating on the hardware. And then there's some people that don't, that could really care less for the gold plating. I am one of those people. Maybe it's because I didn't own one that had the gold plating. So I couldn't really, um, you know, say that, the, you know, it was better back then or it was, it's better now. It's all, again, just a matter of personal preference. Uh, but I, you know, the, I think what I like the most about the vintage Chanel bags, especially the lambskin, is how beautiful the lambskin looks. It might have a little bit more of a shinier texture to it, but it just, I don't know, it just, they look so fantastic. And do I like caviar pieces? Absolutely, I do. Do I like newer pieces? I do. But there is just something about a beautiful vintage Chanel bag with the gold plating that just you 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 don't have now. You know what I mean? So um, it sounds to me like uh, it, it's, it's pretty good. You know, I haven't seen it, obviously. But if it speaks to you, then go for it. But just keep that in the back of your mind. Any older uh, lambskin pieces or even caviar pieces, the caviar takes a little bit longer for it to flatten out. But uh, they will have that effect on them. And I think that that's pretty much speaks for all older pieces. <clears throat> Uh, Jen O'Neill, I am interested in getting the Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM and Monogram. I'm moving to England in July, and I thought this would be a great bag for traveling. I'm worried about getting stuck in the rain with it. Do you think this would be a great bag? If not, is there one that you would recommend that wouldn't get ruined in the rain? Uh, as much as I love the Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM and Monogram, I would have to advise against it because of the Vaquetta. Uh, with the Vaquetta, you run the risk of water stains, water spots, um, and you know, in the rain. And obviously, you want to try to avoid that unless you want to treat the bag, um, you know, and, and put some kind of, um, protectant on it. But if you want something a little bit more carefree and you like the silhouette that the Neverfull has, I would definitely go with Demi Ben. Very, very carefree. You don't have to worry about it. Um, and I think it is a great bag for traveling as well. Recently, 
I started using the Neverfull for travel and I just love it. I love it because it's so simple. It's so easy to get in and out of. I used to have the smaller bags when I traveled and it just seemed that it was always a pain in the butt. Uh, but I would definitely go with the, the Demia Ben. And if you're worried about, um, you know, security and things like that, you can always cinch it in. You just kind of pull on the little tassels that it has and make it a different uh, style of bag, you know, something a little bit more secure. Um, but if you... Again, if you like the silhouette of the Neverfull, I would go for the Demi Ben, or you could uh, go for the, is it the the Sienna? You can go with that in the Demi Ben print, but I would definitely go for something in that print versus the monogram, uh, just because of the care. You know, you don't have to worry too much about water stains, water spots, especially when you're in an environment in, in an environment where it rains quite often. So that would be my suggestion. Uh, okay, Adriana. Uh, Gaza uh, question which option would be better to use as a mini wallet inside the Louis Vuitton Neverfull Azure MM Rose Ballerine wristlet Whew. Uh, the pocket organizer the business card holder or the key pouch all in Azure or do you have any other recommendations um, I think that these are all fantastic uh, options you know they're all very small they're all very very compact personally I would probably go for the card holder there's just something I like about these types of card holders and I know that the Louis Vuitton one is a tad smaller than this but I just like the fact that you have you know your cards on the outside and you could put some money on the inside um, you know they're very very slim they don't take up too much space so that way you have more space for other items uh, and uh, the pocket the pocket organizer I do like it but um, I, you know, sometimes it opens up and sometimes your other items can get, so if it's, if it's like this, you know, it can get stuck, something can get stuck in the middle. I don't know if that's, you know, if that's important or not, but personally, I prefer the card holder types. I just, I don't know. There's something about how simple they are and just super easy to get in and out of. Um, that's what I would suggest. But again, I think they are all fantastic options. Okay, and the last question, Kelly K, would you change anything about your social media in specific? Would I change anything about my social media in specific? Um, I think what I would like to change the most is I wish I had more time to be able to respond to every single person that leaves me a comment on my videos, on my Instagram, or leaves me an email. I wish I could do it. I mean, I wish I had all the time in the world so I can do it, um, you know, especially because I get, um, sometimes I get a lot of questions on Instagram and I don't see them all. And sometimes I'll be flipping through my Instagram because I want to show, you know, a friend a picture or something. And then I'll see a bunch of unanswered, um, questions. And I don't know, I feel so bad because again, I wish I could just interact with everybody. And I always try my hardest to respond to every single comment that I get, uh, you know, especially here on my YouTube channel. Um, but it's just, it's, it, I wish I had more time. I wish I had all the time in the world so I can do it, but I don't. Um, so that, I think that's what I would change the most, you know, uh, being able to interact with more people, um, you know, cause it's, it's very important to me, you know, because I, I appreciate the fact that you guys come to me with your questions and I appreciate that you guys look to me to, to give you some advice on some of the pieces that you have owned or pieces that you're thinking about getting, you know, it's really, I, you'd have no idea how, how good that makes me feel. And I, I just wish I, I could do it. You know what I mean? So that's what I would change the most. Um, you know, that maybe I wouldn't be able to use, um, Instagram or a different app until I answered a specific question or something like that. I don't know. It sounds kind of silly, but it's just, it does mean a lot to me, you know, and, um, that's, yeah, that's what I would do. Um, all right, you guys. So that does it for Minx Monday Q and A this week. I have, um, I'm going to do the luxury tag or the luxury attic tag that I was tagged from Jerusha. Uh, and then I have some subby love for you guys as well. Uh, but thank you guys so much for all the wonderful questions. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope I was able to help and I will see you all tomorrow. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.